friends. Welcome back. This is Beth Tessier from Beauty by Beth, and this is part three of my going gray journey. Today I'm going to talk about growing out the pixie, what that was like, how I did it, giving you some tips and tricks that I discovered along the way. You were able to catch the first two videos that I have done where I lead up to this point. If you haven't, go check those out. Growing out the pixie was not as bad as what I expected. I'm going to be honest with you. I think getting the dyed hair off of my head was a really good decision for me in that moment. As I addressed before, I'm not 100% sure that I would do that whole route again. I think I would. I think I would because getting all of that dyed hair off of my head was the best feeling in the world. Going out the pixie though, I expected it to be pretty dang horrible. And it wasn't it wasn't as bad as what I expected. So what I ended up doing was really about every six weeks, I would go to my hairdresser and she would trim the nape of my neck. So that right back here, that back part of your neck, she would just keep that trimmed. So I literally did that about every six weeks or so. I had a standing appointment with her and she would just keep that trimmed, just keep trimming that so that all of this hair could catch up to that and then I could have a nice chin length bob. So I remember it was at like my seventh month after the pixie that I was like, I officially have a bob. Like the hair from here had grown to about here. And even though it wasn't quite like a full on bob, it was basically a bob cut. And I remember thinking, we did it. <laughs> We did it. We officially don't have a pixie cut anymore. We did it. And so it was kind of like that pixie bob cut. And I owe so much to my hairdresser. She was phenomenal. Um, and she got me to that place. So that's what I did just every six weeks or so just went in and had her trim the back of that. Now I have seen some women that went the pixie route and they just let their hair grow for like two years. Um, I couldn't do that. I needed to shape it and keep it styled the whole way through because I needed to feel, I needed to feel put together and, and like I had style. That was a really big deal for me. So that was part of my decision was to do the pixie and then get it to a bob. And then once we got to the bob stage, then we could grow it however I wanted. So I've actually gone back and forth between this length and the bob, this length and the bob. And right now I'm putting it on camera. I am attempting to grow my hair to about this length right here. I have not had longer hair than this since I've gone gray. And I don't know if I'm going to like it or not like it but I've never done it yet. And I want to grow my hair a little bit longer so that I can just see what I think of it. I just don't know. I used to have long hair and ever since I went gray, I've kept it this length or shorter. So I'm in a process right now of growing it and I like to keep it angled. See how I have it angled? I like that angle. So we're gonna keep the angle, but it's gonna be a longer. A longer angle that's our that's our plan right now so you know there's lots of options for growing out pixies like I said some ladies just grew it um, for me just keeping it trimmed as I grew it helped me get to my goal in about seven ish months so depending on how quickly your hair grows within seven to nine months you could definitely be from a pixie to a short bob and that really does feel like it goes pretty quickly. And I have to say, I didn't hate the stages as I went through them. There was one stage in particular that I did not like, and it was when it was longer, but it wasn't a bob yet, and it was kind of at this awkward stage. But the thing is about pixie cuts is you get through the stages pretty quickly. So keep that in mind. If you are hating where you're at, you're gonna get through that pretty fast. Within like a month, you're like, oh, <laughs> what was going on a few weeks ago is now grown out. <laughs> okay, good, we can move on. So 
just keep that in mind. But that is how I grew out my pixie. I had good success with it. It worked for me. Just keeping that neck trimmed constantly and letting everything catch up to it. Good, good hair products, tucking it behind my ear, you know, all those things. So that's how I grew out my pixie. Next week, I will be chatting about how I have felt about my gray hair after the fact on the other side of this journey, how I'm feeling about it now, if I have any regrets, all that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.